Welcome to C programming. In today's lesson, we're going to discuss unions. Now, unions are also a derived data type, the same as structures. But what's the difference? So a union is going to be declared in very much the same manner as we declare a structure. But the difference is a union have, let's say for instance, in this example, two data types in the union. So we've got a variable that's an int data type, and we've got a variable with a float data type or a double data type. These members, both of them, the int and the double, for instance, share the same storage space, but only one of them will be used. So if we create a variable of type union, the variable will only be a int or a double, for instance, in this case. It can be a int or we can use it as a double. So it's adaptable. So we do not have to recreate the variable if we need it to be a different data type. It's versatile and it can adapt. The actual definition, if I can read it to you, is a union is a derived data type with members that share the same storage space. For different situations in a program, some variables may not be re relevant, but other variables are so a union share the space instead of wasting storage on the variables that are not being used okay so that's the actual definition of a union so let's jump into the coding and see how we declare a union and how we can use a union and maybe that will give you a better understanding of a union so let's jump into the coding so, in code blocks, let's create a new empty file. We zoom in. Oh, and before we start coding, we need to save this. And we will call this a union. Unions.c. I'm going to save this. So, you start off with hash include stdio.h int main void return zero so we've got our main structure let's build and comp or build and run and see that everything works fine before we continue so as you can see there you go it did build and it did run so we can continue so a union let's start by declaring a union a union we will also declare just before the function prototypes and just after the libraries and the constants that we define so they we will define them or create unions at the top just below the library for in this instance so we first start off with saying union and we're going to create a union called number and inside this union, it's the same as in structures. We start off with an open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and a semicolon. So in a union, in this specific union, we will create a int x. And we will create a double y. Int x and a double Y. So let's start by playing with this union to see what it actually does. So first of all, we will go and create a variable of type union number, and we will call this variable value. And inside value, we're gonna use the dot operator Value, we will say value x is equal to 100. 
Great. Now what we will do is we will print out what's inside X and what's inside Y. So let's start off by saying X is equal to percentage D comma value x with the dot operator okay and we also want to go and display what's inside the y and we're going to display the y value the double and we're going to say value dot y and we will see what's going to happen. So let's continue. After we have set value X to 100, we will now set value Y to be equal to 100.1. So now it's a floating or a double value, a floating value, and we can store that inside a double. So, and we're going to repeat the same thing here to see what will be the difference now. We're just going to add two new lines there so that we have a space here. So we created a union, a value variable of type union number, union number. What we can also do is we can also go and type depth this if we want to but it's no need and then we put a value of 100 inside x okay value.x and we display the value.x but we didn't initialize value.y but for a reason i want to see what will happen if i set x to a value and not y and then set y to a value and what will it happen to x so let's see so if we build and run this, let's see what happens. So I'm going to bring this to the top. So first of all, if I define X to be equal to 100, Y is then zero. And then if I define Y as 100.1, it's 100.1 but x changed to something weird and we didn't initialize x to that number do you agree so a union can only work with one of the variables inside the union so it will be either an int x or we're going to work with the double y we cannot work with both x and y a union is there so that we can work with either an int or a double, but we can only work with one of them. They share the space, the memory space, but we only use one. Okay, and that's the difference. In a structure, we have multiple variables inside the structure and we can use all of those variables but in the case of a union these two are shared space so x and y is sharing this space so you can only work with x or you can work with y okay remember that and unions may be helpful in some tight situations that we need to be memory efficient but also flexible on the data types and unions enable us to do both of that. That's all from me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.